Have you ever wondered if the supernatural truly exists? If demonic possessions are more than just stories? Welcome to a world where the ordinary meets the extraordinary, where fact intertwines with fiction and reality blurs with the inexplicable. Today we unravel a tale that is as unsettling as it is mysterious. It revolves around an eerie account of a woman who, under the alleged influence of a demonic possession, defies the laws of physics and human capability by climbing a building. Upon hearing such a tale, one's initial reaction would likely be skepticism. After all, it's easier to dismiss such occurrences as figments of an overactive imagination. But what if there's more to it? What if we're brushing off the unexplainable with the broom of disbelief, simply because it's too unsettling to accept? Get ready as we delve into this chilling account that may just change your perspective about the supernatural. It all started on a quiet evening in an unassuming city when the unthinkable happened. The tranquility of the night was shattered when a woman was spotted doing the unimaginable. She was seen climbing a building, but not in the way you might expect. Instead of using a ladder or climbing gear, she appeared to be scaling the wall with nothing but her bare hands and feet, moving with an eerie, inhuman grace. Eyewitnesses were left dumbfounded. Some rubbed their eyes in disbelief, questioning their own sanity. Others trembled, their hearts pounding like drums in their chests as they watched the scene unfold. One individual who happened to be a local shopkeeper described the site as something straight out of a horror movie. The woman's movements were not of this world. She moved fluidly, defying gravity as if it were mere child's play. She seemed to have an uncanny strength and agility, traits uncharacteristic of an average human being. The sight was so bizarre, so unsettling, that it sent shivers down the spines of those who bore witness. And then, there was the video. It didn't take long for footage of the incident to circulate online, sending shockwaves through the digital landscape. The video, grainy and shaky, added an extra layer of creepiness to the already chilling spectacle. It felt like a scene ripped straight from a supernatural thriller, only this was real life, unfolding in real time. Internet users from every corner of the globe were captivated by the footage. The video was shared, retweeted and reblogged countless times, sparking heated debates and wild theories. People scrutinized every frame, every pixel, searching for clues that might explain what they were seeing. The incident stirred the pot of the supernatural enthusiasts, who were quick to label the event as a case of demonic possession. But skeptics argued otherwise, suggesting that the video might be a cleverly crafted hoax, an elaborate prank designed to scare and deceive. The video left viewers around the world questioning, was this a case of demonic possession or a cleverly crafted hoax? The incident, as unnerving as it was, left us all pondering the boundaries of reality and the realms of the supernatural. To uncover the truth, experts dove deep into the footage, scrutinizing every frame. This was not a task for the faint-hearted. It required painstaking attention to detail and an open mind. On one side of the spectrum, we had skeptics, armed with their scientific rationale, while on the other end, believers of the supernatural stood steadfast, ready to delve into the realm of the unexplainable. The skeptics, as you might expect, sought logical explanations. Their analysis revolved around the possibility of a staged event or the use of special effects. Some leaned towards the theory of an adept climber, skilled in parkour or free climbing, who could have pulled off this feat of vertical prowess. Others suggested the possibility of an optical illusion or a trick of light and shadow, making the spectacle appear more supernatural than it truly was. In contrast, believers of the supernatural saw this incident through a different lens. Their analysis was grounded in the belief of otherworldly forces at play. They argued that the woman's ability to scale the building with such speed and agility was beyond human capabilities. They pointed to historical accounts of demonic possession, where individuals reportedly displayed extraordinary strength and speed, drawing parallels to this incident. Some even delved into the realm of cryptids, suggesting that this could be a sighting of a creature yet unknown to science. 
This theory, while far-fetched to some, resonated with others who believe in the vast, unexplored mysteries of our world. But as the experts on both sides dissected the footage, no definitive conclusion could be reached. The skeptics couldn't entirely rule out the possibility of the supernatural, and the believers couldn't conclusively prove that this was a case of possession or a cryptid encounter. With conflicting interpretations, the mystery only deepened, leaving more questions than answers. This incident served as a reminder that there are things in our world that are yet to be explained, phenomena that challenge our understanding and push us to keep exploring the boundaries of the known and the unknown. Among the theories, one seemed to rise above the rest, demonic possession. This unsettling theory, often relegated to the realm of horror films and spine-chilling stories, suddenly thrusts itself into the spotlight as a plausible explanation for this bizarre incident. Demonic possession as a concept has a long history, steeped in cultural law and religious belief systems across the globe. It's the belief that an individual's actions are controlled by an external malevolent entity, a demon if you will, from the ancient Sumerians who believed in Pazuzu, a demon of the wind, to the biblical account of Jesus exercising demons, this notion is far from novel. In modern times, such instances have been documented and studied by religious scholars, psychologists, and paranormal experts alike. A number of high-profile cases, such as the infamous Annalise Michel in the 70s, have fueled debates around the existence and nature of these supernatural occurrences. Renowned experts in the field have weighed in on this particular incident. Some argue that the woman's unnatural agility and strength, as well as her seemingly irrational behavior, align with classic symptoms of possession. They point to historical cases where individuals have displayed similar feats of physical prowess, often coupled with a drastic change in personality or behavior. Others suggest a psychological explanation. They propose that the woman could be suffering from a severe form of dissociative identity disorder, where one of her alternate selves might possess traits that are drastically different from her normal personality. However, it's crucial to remember that these are theories, not definitive explanations. They're based on interpretations of available evidence and are influenced by personal beliefs and cultural biases. Demonic possession as a theory does have its critics. There are those who dismiss it as nothing more than an ancient superstition, a remnant of a time when mental health disorders were poorly understood and often attributed to supernatural causes. The theory of demonic possession is indeed chilling, but could it be the truth or just a myth? On the other side of the spectrum, skeptics were not convinced. They looked at the incident under a different lens, one that was not tinted with supernatural hues, but rather with the clear vision of science and rationality. Let's delve into their perspective. The skeptics, armed with their own set of explanations, were quick to challenge the possession theory, the most common argument, the power of illusion, and the impact of perspective. They proposed that the woman's ascent might have been a trick of the light or an optical illusion, making her appear to be scaling the building when in truth, she might have been using an unseen ladder or some other mundane means of ascent. Another argument they put forward was the power of the human mind. They suggested that the woman could have been an expert climber or a trained acrobat, who, under the influence of a potent mix of adrenaline and fear, was able to scale the building. The skeptics pointed out that the human body is capable of extraordinary feats when pushed to its limits. The skeptics also pointed to the lack of physical evidence supporting the possession theory. They argued that if the woman was indeed possessed, there would be tangible signs of this possession, something more than just her unusual climbing ability. They demanded more concrete proof, something that could be measured, tested and verified. They also questioned the reliability of the eyewitnesses, suggesting that fear and panic can often cloud one's judgment and skew perceptions. They argued that the eyewitnesses could have been influenced by their own beliefs, causing them to see a supernatural event where there was none. Finally, the skeptics highlighted the importance of Occam's razor, the principle that the simplest explanation is often the right one. They suggested that the more plausible explanation for the incident was not possession, but rather a combination of human ability, illusion, and misperception. 
With logical explanations on the table, the debate became even more heated. So, where does that leave us? Is the supernatural real or is it just a figment of our imagination? Let's take a moment to revisit our journey. We began with a chilling incident. A woman seemingly defying the laws of physics to scale a building. This event, caught on tape, sparked a flurry of analysis. Some pointed to the eerie, unearthly nature of her movements as proof of possession. The notion was bolstered by numerous theories, each more intriguing and spine-tingling than the last. Yet, for every believer, there was a skeptic. Doubters questioned the authenticity of the footage and the credibility of the theories. They argued for a more rational scientific explanation, leaving us in a whirlwind of debate. Despite the divergence in perspectives, one thing remains undeniable. The incident has left an indelible mark on our collective consciousness. In the end, whether you believe in the supernatural or not, one thing is clear. The world is full of mysteries that are yet to be solved.